What is up guys, it's you to play here and welcome back to another Napoleon Total War Battle Replay. And here we have Napoleon right in front of our noses. Here he is ready for battle. And this is the Battle of Ulm. This is another historical battle. And uh, I, uh, I, uh, it was a pretty enjoyable battle, enjoyable battle to play. Uh, and um, let me just tell you guys a little bit about this battle before I show you guys the units. And let me just tell you guys, it's a very close battle. And it, it's a quite long battle as well. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see uh, what this battle is about. So yeah, like I said, this is the Battle of Ulm. That's what it's called because uh, it plays in Ulm. It's... Uh, not sure actually what it is, or I don't know if it's a, if it's a country. I'm so I'm so bad. <laughs> but it's a battle between the French and the Holy Roman Empire. I didn't know if I should choose Prussia or uh, Austria. Austria. So I just chose Prus Prussia. Uh, don't ask why. As I just wanted to. Even though they are Germany, I th I thought they would be more suitable. And the French actually had 80,000 troops on the battlefield and the Germans had 40,000. So the uh, French actually defeated the, uh, the German historically, but maybe we will change history. And you probably realize that the French have way more troops on the battlefield than the Germans, like they actually did historically. But therefore we have more cannons to balance it more out and we have cav and they don't. So it's going to be a very interesting battle to see. And I hope you guys will enjoy this and let's just get right into the tr army comps and let's see what kind of armies these guys got. So starting off with my army, I'm playing as Prussia and oh yeah, the leader who was uh, controlling uh, the, the armies was Karl Freiherr Mack von Lieberich. Uh, the game, th this leader wasn't in the game unfortunately, so uh, we have to pretend that he's here. So he's here back there and I have brought Three, uh, yeah, three cannon units, twelve limber foot artillery units, and I have three. Uh, is that no? Sorry, four, four uh, light infantry units. I think some of them are um, skirmishers and some of them are light foot. I don't completely remember. I'm sorry. I have two cav units, some cuirassiers, and then of course I have some uh, foot guards. Uh, which are, I think they're really, and some musketeers. So that's uh, basically my army. Heading on to my ally, he, the, the player name was Mick, or is Mick, sorry. He also has three cannon units, artillery units. He also has two cav units, or I'm sorry. I don't completely remember. I, yeah, okay, then one. I'm sorry that I don't always remember. He has a general, so he's like a, a friend of uh, Karl Freiherr. And he also has some light infantry, four of those, and the rest are some musketeers. Are they all musketeers? Yeah, it looks like they are all, he has like four musketeer units and four light infantry. So his, uh, oh yeah, he also has some foot guards, sorry. So yeah, his, uh, he has less troops than I have, which is uh, okay. He just needs to do a good job and have a nice strategy. The French are very separated, as you can tell that we stick together and they are very separated. I think they're gonna go on a flank, but let's see what the French have here. They have, so I have no idea to be honest, but here we have the general staff. He is a, a friend of Napoleon, he's commanding this army, and they have some Voltigers. Two over here and one back here. They probably have more, but I'm not sure where they are. And uh, they have a lot of fusilier of line units over here, I think. Uh, yeah, tons of those. And the general, of course, he has one artillery unit and more fusilier of line infantry. So I think he only took fusilier of line infantry in his army. So that's pretty basic. I like it. And heading on to the last army. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure which player was commanding which uh, army. I think uh, Warrior was his name, play, commanded this army, and uh, Ice Santa, he commanded this army. Uh, so I'm actually, so, uh, I actually want to see what happens on this side because I actually didn't, I didn't really concentrate on that side while I was playing. So, um, and let's now see the last army. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. We're already four minutes in. Uh, here we have Napoleon Bonaparte himself. 
and uh, we can see that these skirmishers set up some spikes. And he, they have one cannon infantry, a uh, cannon artillery unit, experimental howitzer, and he brought also some fusiliers of line, uh, tons of those, I, I think four here. And he got some in the trees, so some Swiss for infantry. So I like that he brought a mix of inf infantry there. Well, Fusil of Lion infantry here. So yeah, I think that's basically his army uh, over here. And oh yeah, can't forget here. So yeah, you can see that they have a bit much bigger army than we do. He doesn't, he, a mistake he did, he didn't get any light infantry. So my range is better than his. So this is going to be a very tight battle. So I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am to see this battle well for me again and let's see who will win will hit history change who knows but let's just play here now because we are just positioning and i said to my ally we need to stick together and uh, because they have the forces they could easily fank around um i just thought it would have been easier if we stick together he so yeah i th i didn't want I didn't want to rush for the hills because I had the artillery. I didn't want to leave my artillery all the way back there. So I was uh, actually hoping that the French, as they are doing, are going to rush for this hill while I, while I stay down here and wait for my ally to position uh, his army, which he is doing. So the French, are, let's, let's open the mini map here, the radar map. Um, he's actually moving around and they are very separated, which is a... Uh, bad thing to do when you are playing a 2v2 battle. Uh, my ally Mick here did a, he's a, actually a good player. He's a, actually a good online friend as well. I play with him a lot. And uh, he uh, he was in a lot of battles in recent videos and he did a pretty good job so I'm surprised how he will do at this time. And uh, so I realized that it might take some, t I don't, that it's not going to move him down so I might just uh, move him up and my artillery is starting to fire down at this one unit and I already got one hit there with the artillery so this unit uh, already lost three men and yeah three cannon units so it's going to be kind of tough for this unit and uh, I played very aggressively with my cav I'm just moving him out and I wanted to go for the cannons and a silly mistake that I did, I didn't see the spikes, so I just went for it, it was a big mistake, but yeah. Let's see if the cannons get any more hits. Yeah, they got a few more kills there, oh yeah, look at that. Most of them are getting back up, but that was a nice hit there, you see a big dent. It must be so scary to be one of these soldiers, you just hear these cannons, you never know if, they, if it's going to hit you or the, or, your, or the guy right next to you. And here goes the cav right into the pikes and surprisingly not that many not much cav die from these pike spikes a lot do but not that many i thought they're gonna instantly route which i don't so now i'm gonna attack these uh light infantry units or oh, are they light yeah okay so they did have light infantry they were probably hidden somewhere and he's moving some of his infantry back here to uh probably get my cav and they are in start, uh, routing pretty quickly there. So is my cav, so it's pretty close right now. And I need to go for this next unit. And there they go. So yeah, I was very aggressive with my cav, which I love doing. But there they fire down at my cav. And that's the... That's the that's the point where I say, okay, enough, my calf, they need to uh, run away. I need to use them again later on, but better than that. Because now I concentrated him over here, which, uh, look, he has half his army here and half his army over here, which is a, another huge mistake you can do. Separate your own army like that. And now because I did that, I scared him a little, so he's going to get some of his troops and protect this one cannon unit. So, it's, yeah, that's a, a big plus for me. Uh, I'm going to move my units. Uh, I'm going to separate them. These four units, I'm going to uh, concentrate on these units. And these uh, five units will concentrate on these units here, who are probably 
waiting my army to attack from here. But here, I don't know if they can see this part of my army yet or not. Or he probably thinks I have more, which I don't. He just, yeah, he's just going to wait here. Which is, it's a nice position, but I'm not going to attack from there. And I don't think he knew that. And let's see what the French are doing here. They're slowly marching. They're just repositioning. They're taking their time. And let's see here. It looks like the cab from Prussia charged in here into the uh, Volta gears. That's very nice. And he's getting some uh, other Volta gears to fire down. So this cav might not last that long. Let's see. Well, the cav is... Uh, I think the trees are protecting the cav right now. That ca Yeah, that was a very good cav charge from Mick. Very good charge. Uh, and I'm uh, rapidly moving up my skirmishers and line infantry to fire down at this position. And this poor unit is losing quite a lot of men from my artillery. And let me just remove this now. So... Yeah, it's a pretty intense right now. Uh, my cav, I'm going to move him again. I actually, so what I'm going to do with my cav is I'm going to move him forward and get them from behind. Because they have no protection. And if I have fire from this side and, and attack from behind, they'd have no idea what to do. And here they go. I'm firing down. But unfortunately, when I'm here, most of the bullets are actually firing into the ground. So that wasn't that good of me to do. And they are finally moving their units. And I think, I don't know if you realize that I'm moving my cav or not. But it's going to be intense. And this artillery is going nuts. Look at all these uh, holes. And you can just see this ca the uh, uh, cannons flying by. Really cool actually. It pleases me to see that. And it looks like the cab from Mick actually routed and they they go. And now they are moving. So look at this guys. Look at the radar map. The one side is over here and one side is over here. It's like a huge flanking at attack. And but a huge mistake that Warrior does is he has part of his army back here. Not being used at all. Which is, yeah, it's just a huge huge mistake. But yeah, it's going to be intense. Uh, it's going to be hard for this player to hold back because they have so many troops and they are just charging. They are moving as quickly as possible. They are massively outnumbering and they are ready. The Prussians are ready. When are they starting to fire? Who knows? Oh no, what are they doing? What are they doing? They need to stay. Don't charge out. No! What are they doing? Alright, fire, fire. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You shouldn't have moved. Yeah, they're, they're gonna get wrecked. Men, fire. Fire before they charge. Oh wow, that's loud. Right, here they go. Here they fire. No, this is, looks awesome. They're gonna, oh, okay, they're gonna get the Yeagers here to move on this flank and fire from the side. And they are not gonna charge in. They're gonna fire from here. Into, which is a really bad position. Oh no, okay, there they go, they're charging in. Losing quite a lot of morale, gaining it back though. It does not look good for the Prussians at all, they are massively outnumbered. They have more uh, guys back here protecting my artillery, which is very nice of them. And my cav, there we go, I missed it, but my cav is charging, it has charged in to this unit. And now I'm moving, because I knew... Okay, yeah, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. They look pretty nice as well, the Swiss one. I like their uniform. And uh, I'm, these units are just waiting for them to come. And there they go, they're firing already. But I don't know if they're hitting anything. No, there's a little slight hill uh, protecting them. And I have... Now I'm firing, the in, down, firing down at this one unit. Uh, massively outnumbering them. But it does not look good at all for this... Uh, player here, Mick, because he is massively outnumbered. He's trying his best. His artillery is playing a uh, firing, um, oh, what's it called again? Like the little cannon stuff. I forgot what it's called, but he needs to fire down uh, over here 
not over there, wherever he's firing at. And it looks like he has another cav unit, which I've missed. And he, the, we're going to get an epic charge. Oh, beautiful, beautiful charge there from Mick into these units. Beautiful. I, that's a really good charge. Oh, look at, yeah, there they go. Here they fire. Beautiful. Yeah, this is beautiful. They are losing their morale. They're not actually charging into the the artillery. They are actually uh, just firing down, which is a huge mistake. Because they're going to drop like flies. Alright, there they go. Come on, fire one more volley. No. Alright, looks like that's it for the artillery. And, uh, well, well, I mean, he still has one artillery unit back here. Not sure where he's firing down at, yo. Oh, wow. That was a nice hit there with the artillery. Nice hit there. And my cav, not sure where they went. I didn't really concentrate. Uh, they might have died. But we get another nice charge here from the Swiss foot guard. They're not charging in, but they will charge. And I just have this nice position to fire down at. And they're dropping like flies. Looks like he's going to do a volley before he charges, I guess. So much is happening at once. Alright, there goes the last artillery unit from Mick. All they have... Yeah, I mean, Mick's army is pretty much gone. He only has this one elite infantry left. The foot guards. And, uh... Where am I firing out? Oh, okay. So I have these two artillery uh, units firing down over here, which they did an amazing job. They got tons of kills just for firing down at this blob here, as you probably saw one of the volleys. And now I'm going to actually um, hook my uh, cannons up and reposition them down at this, uh, these units here, so I can fire down over there with howitzer shot. I think that's how you call it, howitzer shot. And are the French going to charge in now? No, they're still firing. I mean, some of the men are firing into their own men. And over there, this unit is not uh, working out so well. Oh! Here they go, here they go, guys. They are charging in. Charging into my units. This looks awesome. Yeah, that looks awesome. Here they go, and why, while, the, it's like a cannon fodder this unit. While they're fighting off this unit, I'm firing down. Yeah, now, yeah, huge charge there, and I'm just going to do a counter charge with my units. So yeah, very cool. And uh, yeah, I've repositioned my units, now firing down at the French on this side. And this is what it looks like now on the radar map. Uh, the French are doing not that well over here. They still have their units back here. They have not sent in any aid yet. And over here they are starting to rout. So it looks pretty good here for Prussia. Uh, this flank was a great push. But it wasn't good enough. The Prussians were strong enough to hold back. And they did a very good job. But this unit is still holding back. Even though they are getting fired out from... I don't know how many. Oh no, they're not even firing. I didn't even realize. And yeah, I'm just charging into all these units. They are starting to route because they are outnumbered. And these men are trying to fire down while they are running away. And I'm just going to continue to charge without, like, continuous, with no, like, I'm not going to stop. There's no stopping here. And here we have the general. Having a look at the battle, or just just having a look at this little volley battle. All right, um, all right, there they go. Now they're finally firing. Maybe that's why they weren't routing. And there they go. 
Nice volley there. They are instantly routing now. Finally. And now I charge into this uh, unit. But uh, looks like he try he wanted to, to fire down while they hold back. But he's actually firing into his own men. As you can see from this perspective. So it doesn't, doesn't look too good there for the French right now. This whole army is mostly gone. They have just two units left. And a unit back here. And my artillery is firing down, not sure where actually. Maybe down over here. And I am also firing into my own men unfortunately, which is a huge mistake. And I'm just continuously charging, trying to break these men with this huge blob of mount of troops. Here they go. Let's get some close-ups here. Some of them are facing the wrong way as well. We have the general charging in actually. Didn't uh, didn't see that. The general's charging in, which is a huge mistake. They are not good enough for that. And there they go. They are went out of uh, Well, it's not Napoleon. It's the general staff. And I decided to charge him with my general and kill the French general, so we have a little general battle. They have no idea what's coming, because this is what their perspective is. And there they go. Look at the cav coming. They are charging in. There they go. Beautiful. And there it goes. There's the general who's dead. And there, yeah, there goes the general. I'm quickly going to reposition my units. I broke this unit here. And I'm going to fire down. And I ch managed to uh, push through here. I'm uh, still pushing though. Why are they facing the wrong way? I don't know what they're doing. They have another Swiss for infantry here. And it looks like my general's going to charge into this unit. They have no idea that they're coming and charging. Well, they do, but the player doesn't. And there they go. Look at that amazing charge. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there they break. Look, it's gone. The whole unit is gone. Beautiful. And that's pretty much it for the French. But hold on, guys. Don't click away yet. Don't click away yet. Because the best is to come. The French are starting to rout. But have you forgotten that they still have a Fr some French units back here? Who will do their final stand in a bit? They, they are now falling back to this last position and now the Prussians they have realized that they have won this part of the battle but they now need to reposition and get ready for this last uh, attack and these howitzers are attacking and trying to get my general they are in danger but yeah I'm gonna fast forward now guys to the uh, till this continues oh yeah they got a nice hit there but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip till uh, it's gonna get interesting again, I guess. So see you guys later. Okay, guys. So the Prussians have repositioned, and now we are moving up our army, and so have so have um, I have also moved my artillery in. Well, I'm trying to move them in position to fire down at, because now they are doing the last stand, and let's see how well they will do. We have a few, few units attacking from here, and the most of the units are attacking from this side, and here they go. I, <laughs> this one unit is going to uh, gonna charge in because they are they can't go back into a... They, I mean, they, all I'm trying to say is they are stuck in melee mode. And the artillery... Ooh, ooh the artillery actually uh, got some kills there. Will they even manage to charge in? No, they'd route. They just realized, no, it's not worth it. My life is too, uh, it's not worth this charge. 
And yeah, I'm just slowly taking my time to p position my units. And I'm trying to get these in position to fire down. Are they? Yay! Yeah, they are. And they're firing down. Oh, there you go. The, the howitzers, they're firing down again. Not sure what they're aiming at. Probably at the general. So, yeah. Oh, we also have one unit here trying to flank around. French last stand and Napoleon is seeing all of it. Napoleon. There he is. He's like hoping that these men will do their best to to hold back. And these men are so scared because they know what's coming and the size of this army. It's so nice to like always get a view from or perspective from the soldiers. And now we have the artillery firing down, which is very scary. Because you never know when a cannon hits you. They are very fast. Oh, those cannons are flying by. Oh my gosh, like, that's intense. These poor soldiers. Those cannons are firing now. And they are massively outnumbered, look at this. And it looks like they're gonna charge! A nice charge here from Mick. Oh, looks like we are very... Wow! Look at the hit we got with the artillery. How did I miss that? Such a nice hit. Wow! Brilliant hit there. Brilliant hit. Look at look how many kills we got from that. Wow. Wow. I am... I didn't know that happened, to be honest. All what's standing left is these two units left. Let's see if we get any more artillery hits. Oh. That was close. We can see the artillery coming. Oh, that. Oh, it's very cool. Oh, yeah, we got a nice hit there. <laughs> but that's it, guys. The Prussians. Prussia has won. They changed history. You, you may argue that it wasn't fair, but it was still a fun battle to play. I hope you guys did enjoy watching this. And here goes the name again. Who play in this battle? Thank you so much. Players for uh, playing, and Mick got the most kills. I was in second place, and let's just see how many kills those cannons got. Oh, they didn't actually get that many kills, but they probably lost like, made, like um, lowered the morale of a lot of units. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, battle replay. If you have, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.